Hello, welcome in my kitchen and today we will first cook something and after that we can play lore. So we have to cook much quicker because how quicker we cook we can play much more longer lore. I have, I have a surprise menu for you. I will cook uh, my special pumpkin soup and Mozart dumplings, uh, Vienna special sweet uh, meal. Yes, and I think I think we have to start right now. Hello, Srioko. No gulasch today. Today we have my special pumpkin soup and Mozart dumplings. So I start with the dumplings because they have to be in the refrigerator for a short time. So we make first the dumplings. For the dumplings we need 70 grams uh, grit, 70 grams meal, uh, flour, one egg, we put it also in here, one egg, vanilla sugar, quark or curd, I don't know how you tell it in English. And 70 grams uh, butter, but the butter has to be liquid, so I put it in the microwave. Because we need uh, liquid butter. Then we get the mixer. Put the butter in the pot and mix it with everything. That's it. Now So, and now we put this in the refrigerator and let it there. I think yes. Half an hour. So we make a ball, you see it, and that's it, that's it. And put it in the refrigerator for a little while. So, and now we can start with our special pumpkin soup. For that, I peeled a 
Hockey, du Bumpkin. Hi, bad potato. Hi. I'm fine, and how are you? I hope you're fine too. I peel uh, the Hokkaido the pumpkin before. You're great. That's nice. That's nice. We hi Nufi. Today we make my special pumpkin soup and Mozart dumplings before we can play lore because I have to prepare a, a meal for my husband that he isn't angry when I stream all the time when I'm at home. <laughs> so I can cook him a meal. He has food to eat and I can uh, stream lore after that. So first uh, I peeled the, the, the pumpkin, it's a Hokkaido pumpkin. Uh, now we put out the seeds. It's not, it's really easy. You can put it out and now you can see it's ready. Second one. We need all the seeds out. So, and there we are. It's ready. Yes, ready. All the seeds are out. That's okay. So, then, yes, pumpkin soup. Now we cut the pumpkin, but you, you don't have to cut him very, very little because I will cook it for the soup, so only big slices, pieces of the pumpkin, it's okay. And we put it into the but then we cut the second one. So the second one and put this also in the pot. So, and I, I told you I will make my special pumpkin soup. And in my special pumpkin soup, I put in bananas. For one pumpkin with, uh, the pumpkin was uh, one kilo. For one kilo we need two little Bananas, we also put it in there. And now we need a little bit of water. I don't give too much water in it, only that the pumpkin is overwhelmed with water, but not more. Yes, and now we have to cook this. So, now, and now, that's nice, Nufi, that's nice that you have a relaxed shift. Now you can watch me and learn how to cook my pumpkin soup. Uh, 
Then we need a soup cube. I hope it's in English a soup cube. Salt. Pepper. And chili. It's a very hot chili. So be careful with that. Yes, I think it's enough. And then we need curry. Uh, where is my curry? Where is my curry? And I always I always take Madras curry because in my mind, it's the best curry. It has a very, very nice tasting, and so I always uh, cook with Madras curry. So we put in Madras curry, not too less. And now the soup shall cook till the pumpkin is soft and we can mix all of that. In the meantime, we can melt butter with uh, breadcrumbs. This we need for the um, uh, dumplings. The breadcrumbs uh, has to be roasted in the butter. Not too quick because they are very, very, very quick black. Now that the, the soup is cooking, that's nice. How was it in Petya, Nufi? I hope it was nice there. Because you have to know, yesterday, yesterday, I stand up very early in the morning and go to work with my daughter, Nufi. And she's a, she's a train driver, a train conductor, uh, I think so. It's called in English. And I stay with her at work the whole shift with her and it was so nice. She's driving so big trains 
We have we have one train ha had yesterday had 1,500 tonnen. I don't know tonnen in English. And it was really great to be with her at work. I love it. I really love it. It was so great. So before the the breadcrumbs are too brown. We put a little bit sugar in it. It will caramel, caramelize, caramelized. I don't know. I hope it is in English understandable. So, because the sugar will be melted in the pan and Yes. You can also put uh, nuts. Sounds nice. What are you cooking today? I'm cooking my special pumpkin soup and Mozart dumplings. Hi, Envy. So, yes, and then we need a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon, and now the breadcrumbs are ready for the dumplings. They are ready, so we put it away. And for the dumplings, we need, I don't know, if, yes, we need this one, it's Mozart Kugeln, it's a chocolate uh, ball with uh, marzipan and nougat in it, it's a, a, a a special uh, chocolate from Salzburg. You know Mozart, yes. And there, for the for the dumplings, we need one of these for every dumpling. I will make only one dumpling now because I want to do it fresh for my husband when he comes home. So I only make one dumpling to show you. And the other one, I will make fresh when my, when my husband come home. Now the soup is cooking, I think. After we have cooked the dumpling, we can mix the soup. And then we are ready to play law, guys. Then we are ready to play law. I hope normally I will leave that half an hour in the refrigerator. I will try one dumpling right now. I hope it works so quick, but we will see it. For that I, I need gloves. I always work with gloves when I make dumplings. I like it much more. So, yes, it's easy, easier to make clothes with, to make dumplings with clothes. So, yes, and now you need a little bit of that. Take the chocolate ball, the Salzburger Mozart Kugel and put it in that and make a dumpling. Now you have to wait till the water is cooking. So I think we don't need it now because I only make one dumpling to show you and this 
give back in the refrigerator. And I, I cook the water with a shot of rum. Only a little bit of salt. Now we have to wait till the water is cooking. It will be quick. So, what is with the... Yes, we change, we change. We take the soup here and put the dumpling water here. Now you can see the soup. I think the um, the pumpkin is soft enough to make the soup ready. Water is cooking in in a short time. No, we have, we need energy for the mixer. So, water is cooking, so we put the dumpling in the in the water. So and now we need a liquid cream. This is a a, a liquid uh, cooking cream. Don't whip it, but we put it in the soup. Now we mix the pumpkins with the bananas, the curry. Sorry for the noise. Sorry for the noise, but yes, you know, we can't do that without the noise. So, yes, pumpkin soup is ready. Now, you can uh, give a little bit of honey in it. And 
if you want it hotter, much more chilly. And I'll serve it with pumpkin seed oil and pumpkin seeds will come on the soup. I will show you, I will make a picture when I serve my husband the soup and the dumplings. Oh. Um, and put it on, on YouTube as thumbnail. I gotta go now sadly, but I'll back in like an hour. Will you be live still? In one hour, I, I, I'm, I'm really live because then I'm going to play lore, you know? I can't live without lore. <laughs> I have to play lore after that. We're waiting till the dumpling is ready. I think it doesn't need much more, not, not, not much more time, only a few minutes. Then uh, you put them out of the water and roll the dumpling. <laughs> That's fun. I hope you see us again and and roll the dumpling in the in the in the roasted um bread crumbs. I I shall study more English. I'm so bad in English. I'm so bad, guys, but I do my best. I hope you understand me. And if you don't understand something Please, please let me know. I will, I will, I will try to explain you what I mean. So, but now you can see the soup. It's ready. It's ready for my husband. Now we put the waste away and we are ready. That's it. So sugar back. Other dumplings and now we will I think we can put it them out. Yes, looks very nice. Looks very nice. You can see what I'm doing. I will do it here. Here are the roasted breadcrumbs with butter and a little bit of sugar at least. When the dumpling is swimming on the water, then it's ready. Our dumpling is swimming, so we put them out of the water. That's it. I will show you, that's the dumpling. Now we put the dumpling in the breadcrumbs and roll it like that. You have to do that while the, the dumpling is wet. Now you can see he picks up the breadcrumbs. And 
this is how it, how it looks now we can I think I will cut this one for you now there it is